all we know is that deaf and mute person sh showcase their gestures. So every time they make a gesture, they create a message. But not everyone is known on how to use a language and how they communicate with them. So this application will help those deaf and mute and non deaf, deaf and mute person to understand sign languages, not just by they recognize them and they can learn on how to how to learn the sign language that they have. This presentation has an outline, has a description, proposed you know, who, who will be our customer, proposed you know, how, customer segmentation, value proposition, and technology readiness, readiness level. In the description, Seeing Voices is an application intended to achieve the need of the Filipino deaf and mute community in Bulacan. This application is hand gesture recognition. What I said earlier that this application is for deaf and mute, that every time you create a gesture, there's always a message up here. Then in proposed know who our target our our target location is is in Bulacan where we choose Bulacan for deployment and testing. So next would be, um, why would our initial customer segment pay for the product or service? So first, active users are a big factor. So kailangan yung interface or yung user interface ng app is engaging or um, uh, appealing. So planning the necessary details, including the user experience, must be considered. Then we will secure funds from and build partnerships with um, different LGUs in Bulacan. And then we will promote the Filipino sign language through campaign ads. Kasama na rin po doon yung application namin. And then magagawa lang namin yun um, kapag nakahingi na po kami ng tulong sa mga LGUs. And then this would help people to appreciate and recognize Filipino sign language. And then in-app advertising is also included to produce more revenue. So in-app ad in advertising is both a marketing and revenue strategy. Para po sa mga, um, tulad, po na, tulad po na app developers and then sa mga iba't iba pong brands. So, kailangan din po namin i-execute yun para po magkaroon po ng um, revenue. Jello, next slide. The next is proposed know-how. So, first, Filipino Sign Language has its own linguistic features, not just your signs. But um, we will focus now on hand gesture recognition. And it is the reason why the researchers need to do an extensive um, research and data collection before proceeding to design and development. And since it is about machine learning, an enormous amount of time will be, will be required. Um, first, we will set the timeline and proceed to the um, designing of interface. It includes the wireframing and prototyping. So, we will utilize um, Adobe XD for that um, process. And then to execute the action recognition, Kotlin programming language will be utilized. And then dependencies like Nietzsche Pipe and Tensor will be installed and imported. 
So for the media file, it will be used to extract key points. And for, and for the tensor flow, it is used to train the neural networks. Jella, next slide. And then this is our initial flow chart. So sa flow chart po namin, included po dun yung uh, first is magla-login or sign up po yung user. And then after po na, mapupunta na po siya dun sa pinaka-main or home screen. Jella, next slide. And then, dun sa pinaka-main interface, meron doon um, FSL to text or text to FSL options. So, pag FSL to text, um, first is isasign mo yung word na gusto mo i-translate. And then, the app will detect and predict the actions na ginawa dun sa camera. And then, it should show you or display yung result in text. Next, if you, if you choose to uh, if you choose text to FSL, First, you will need to type or search the word you need to translate. And then it will convert the, um, the sign into text. And then after that, it will show or display the result in sign language. Uh, plan po namin na images po ito or GIF po. And then you can translate again. Jenna, let's play. And then this is our um, initial or low fidelity uh, wireframing. So, sa pinaka-app, makikita po natin yung sa pinaka-main screen is meron doon, uh, yun nakalagay yung value proposition namin and then yung logo. Then, get started, log in or sign up. You can uh, you can sign in or, uh, you can sign up or log in using your Facebook, Gmail, or um, Apple, Apple or iCloud account. Next is, Jella, next slide. Then, this is the uh, option screen. You can choose FSL to text or text to FSL. And then, it will direct you to the action recognition frame. And then, this uh, the displaying of text. And then, when you, cho when you choose um, text to FSL, it will direct you to the screen of... Uh, the last the last screen which is yung kapag nag-search ka or nag-type ka ng word or phrases na gusto mo i-translate um uh, i-show niya yung Filipino sign language na. next our uh, is our customer segmentation we will be using demographic segmentation our application's first launch will be regulated only in the province of Bulacan there will be a group of deaf and mute individuals, students, employees who may have an FSL user workmate and other normal Bulacanians at the age of seven years old and up who would be capable in learning Filipino sign languages and will be interested in using our system. Next. Next, our value proposition. We're handy guide in communicating with, with and learning FSL. Our system, seeing voices, literally can come in handy. Very convenient to handle and useful by just installing our application in your mobile devices and using your hands for typing and signing. It could already guide you to understand and learn Filipino sign languages that could help you connect with the mute and deaf community and other Filipinos who uses FSL as their way, as their way of communication. Type the text or sentences you would like to translate and it will show you its translation in FSL or Filipino Sign Language. Another feature is show gestures or Filipino Sign Languages, then it will translate its meaning in text or sentences. Let our application help you see the voices of our mute and deaf community. This could help us reduce or even break our social barriers with them and continue to spread the learning of FSL to the majority. Next. The technical readiness level of our system is level 7. The system model are prototype demonstration in operational environment. 
the first stage of deployment, which signifies that is ready for testing and demonstration. There is several application is already in the place in, in the play store. But the thing is more on it was on American Sign Language or ASL. But we want to create new new features that that has Filipino sign language that has our own version and the recognition which when you create a gesture there is a translation text that appear above above the interface so when when a deaf person or non-deaf person create a gesture, there's a message appear on that. And this is this is my team. I'm the hustler, Angela Abraham. The hacker is Elisa 